lot of talking about Bitcoin ordinals, but how do you actually mint them? How do you actually sell NFTs with them? That's what I'm going to tell you today after this disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor, I do this for education purposes only. So let's get straight in. So guys, first let's talk about Sparrow Wallets at SparrowWallet.com. Okay, it's a Bitcoin wallet for those who value financial self-sovereignty. Its emphasis is on security, privacy, and usability, and it does not hide information from you, okay? On the contrary, it actually attempts to provide as much detail as possible about your transactions. Having a little look at this video here, right, you can start to see a little bit about how it works inside of the multi, in the multi-sig wallet. So you have the transactions, send, receive, addresses, UTXOs, and the settings on the left-hand side. It's very simple to press receive. You just copy the address into the pay to with the label, the amount and obviously choose your range the fee and then create the transaction so that's how you can create the transaction on the sparrow wallet okay super super easy guys and it's simply done if you want to go more into it all right they've got a lot of features with full support okay a range of connection options standard base includes full psbt support however it's also unique in that it contains a fully featured transaction editor guys there's a lot of benefits to sparrow wallet and that's why i want to talk about this incredible bitcoin wallet for you right now but let's dive into what even a bitcoin nft is so guys Bitcoin NFTs, right? Ordinals are just looking like any other NFT. But there's a huge difference, all right? In ordinals, in a nutshell, they're immutable and complete digital artifacts. Whereas normal NFTs actually have metadata and allow the change of creation of the NFTs, changing the appearance, the characteristics. For instance, some NFT projects that are not ordinals will actually ask the user to refresh their NFT to have higher resolution images for a fact, whereas Bitcoin ordinals do not do that. They are completely on chain, which means they are intended to reflect what NFTs were supposed to reflect. Now, if you want to get actually making them, downloading them, buying them, you need to get Xverse, okay? Xverse.app forward slash download, and you can download this for whatever you're on. The App Store, Google Play, or Chrome, no problem. Until recently, you could only use a fully synced Bitcoin Bitcoin node, but now of course you can use the number one Bitcoin web free wallet, which is this, and just simply hit the download button. Guys, once you've downloaded it, it's going to look like this, okay? And what you're gonna get from this is the ability to opt to inscribe an image or text directly on the Bitcoin blockchain, okay? Uploading your inscription and choosing the preferred file of your device. It'll come up saying upload your inscription, make sure it's perfect, inscriptions can be viewed by anyone, and you drag your file simply in here, okay? Once you enter your inscription into it, it's perfect and can be viewed by anyone, and they can never be changed or deleted. Then what you want to do is set up your transaction fee. Okay, so you can click on the bottom. The Bitcoin network fees are needed to create your inscription. Higher fees can help your inscription get created sooner, but even high fees can take hours and days, so be patient. We have the normal fees, the higher fees, and the custom fees. The normal 1989, for example, for 7 sat V byte, 19 sats for $42, and 28 sats for $58. Okay, there's a service fee as well, and the amounts are shown are estimated for this Bitcoin network fees. Then you'll need to enter your ordinal recipient address to receive your Bitcoin NFT and you need to have a new and unused taproot Bitcoin receiving address compatible with the ordinal. So in your Xverse wallet, all right, navigate to the NFT tab and press the receive button for ordinals NFTs that copy tarport recipient addresses. It'll look like this, the ordinal recipient address, okay, and you simply just copy that below. If you insert a BTC recipient address that is not compatible with the ordinals, Gamma cannot guarantee you'll be able to get your transfer. And finally, guys, you just need to agree to the terms and conditions. It's really as simple as that and complete your transaction. Now, the future of Bitcoin NFTs, guys, Ordinals are an extreme breakthrough for Bitcoin. And it's offering for the first time ever to store raw data direct on the Bitcoin L1. Projects prominent like Ape Club are flocking over, launching insane projects to leverage the Bitcoin's L1 rarity and immutably. And thanks to Bitcoin NFTs, they are ranging so high here in heights that Gamma have never seen. Ordinals inscriptions on Ethereum would literally cost hundreds, which could actually be the case of Bitcoin in the near future. Thank you so much, everyone. Do me a massive favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell if you're notified, and I'll see you next time.